Good afternoon, folks. It's Scott down from the EMS office. Hey, I wanted to go over with you today how to pull your training report. We've got a lot of questions lately of how do I find what training has been entered for me? Or how do I find the trainings that I have entered so that I don't accidentally uh, duplicate the trainings that are being entered? So after you log into OWLS, you'll come down to the button here where it says training. Click on training. That'll take the second, it'll pop up a sub menu under training, and you'll look at report. So you'll click on report, and now what the system is doing is it's calculating for you the information that is in the system. So your training report, or where it comes up, it says my training report, you'll see by your level the topical hours that are required and also the skills that are required for you to complete at your level. So preparatory, for example, is required to have three hours. I, in this case, Johnny Test, who is our crash test dummy, has completed six, and so he has no hours remaining. In his airway, there's four hours required. He's completed two, so he has two hours remaining. Well, you're sitting there and you're wondering, well, did Joe over at the service put my hours in last month. How do I know if they entered the training? Since it's just showing me numbers. But there's two different ways you can do it. The first way is to come over here and click on registrations. And what registrations is any formal class that has been taught through a organization, whether it's an ambulance service, fire department, um, or industrial service that reports into OWLS will be documented here. Uh, you can see that Johnny does not have any formal classes that he's completed. What we'll do is we'll go back to the report and I'll show you another method. Um, there's a number of us that still like to have that paper copy in our hand to be able to hold on to that document. So the second way to do it is from the My Training Report page, or the report, is this PDF icon right here. Click on that PDF icon. What that will do depending on your browser settings, it will either open a new tab in your browser or open a new window, and this will give you a printable PDF. Well, when you look at it at first, you'll see that this first section looks very similar to what we just looked at. But what you do is scroll down to the bottom, and this is the part that you're really wanting to see, this applicant's training. So you'll see two sections, you'll see formal and supplemental. Formal and again, like I said, when we looked under that registrants button, formal is any course that has been entered by a service for you. Supplemental is any training that you have entered for yourself through the individual training upload course or upload form. So you'll see that you know Johnny has done a handful of classes here. Here's the dates, the required section, and then the topical hour category that applies to, and then the hours that it was, uh, that class was set for. So again, a couple ways to do it from the My Account page, which is your, again, your landing page, and you come in, you'll click on Training, that'll populate up, you click on Report, then once your report pops up, for any formal training, you can come up and click on the registrations button, or again, the easiest way is click on this PDF button. If you have any questions or concerns or need some more help with any of this, with any of this, feel free to give us a call down here at the EMOS office, and we'll help you out. Have a great day.